Is the bull run about to take off now that Biden has dropped out of the race? And could the ETH ETF launching this week add further fuel to the fire for a massive altcoin season? This is your altcoin buzz news. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcoinBuzz.io, and as always, do not financial advice. We wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. The crypto realm has started yet another week with attention-grabbing developments unfolding in the broader market. While Bitcoin soared to remarkable price levels in the past seven days, the altcoin market stirred significant optimism across the broader industry. The United States President Joe Biden shocked the markets when he ended his re-election bid on Sunday, July 22nd. Some analysts suggest that the president's withdrawal from the election race could benefit Bitcoin and other crypto assets in the coming months. Describing Biden's sudden move as a win for crypto assets, eToro market analyst Josh Gilbert says that Trump's heightened chances of re-election represent a huge boost for the asset class, adding the longer we see Trump staying ahead in the election odds, the more crypto assets will price in his victory. It's difficult to envision Kamala Harris or another Democratic candidate overturning Trump's lead in the polls with just three months ahead in the election race. But a lot can happen in that time frame, so nothing's off the cards. Trump has recently made Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies a key part of his election campaign, declaring on June 14th that he would bring an end to the Biden administration's war on crypto if elected president. 10x research founder Marcus Thielen suggested that a crypto-friendly Trump could announce that he would make Bitcoin a strategic reserve asset for the United States government at the upcoming Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville, Tennessee. In a July 21st report, Thielen wrote that the U.S. government holds just 212,800 Bitcoin, worth around $15 billion, while it also holds around $600 billion in gold reserves. If the government doubled its Bitcoin holdings, it would be nearly equivalent to the price impact of net inflows in spot Bitcoin ETFs year-to-date. A five spot Ethereum ETFs, including Fidelity and Vanek, are set to launch on July 23rd, according to the SIBO exchange. According to Matt Hogan, Chief Investment Officer at Bitwise, Ethereum's price could be on track to hit new all time highs after the launch of the first United States Ether ETF. Hogan cited three main reasons for ETH reaching new all time highs, including ETH's inflation rate, the fact that Ether stakers aren't selling like Bitcoin miners, and that 28% of Ether supply is already out of the market. In a July 16th blog post, Hogan wrote, Ethereum's inflation rate over the past year is exactly 0%. Significant new demand meets zero new supply. I like that math. And if activity on Ethereum ticks up, so does the amount of ETH being consumed. That's another lever of organic demand working in investors' favor. Other factors also point to an incoming rally, including the number of Ether withdrawals from centralized exchanges, according to crypto analyst Leon Wademan. The analyst wrote in a July 19th X post, $126 million worth of ETH was withdrawn from exchanges this week, signaling massive accumulation ahead of the ETF launch. Next, big ETH rally incoming. However, Ether's price could first see a sell the news event like the initial Bitcoin ETF launch before starting its sustained rally towards new all time highs. According to Alvin Kahn, Chief Operating Officer of the BitGet Wallet, the real opportunity to invest in Ether long term could come after the first few weeks of the ETF debut. Khan said once this initial shakeout is over, the price of ETH could start to climb steadily each month, depending on the daily inflows into the new ETH spot ETF. Other analysts expect the Ether ETF to have wider ramifications on the altcoin market. For instance, crypto trader Mickey Bull expects the ETFs to catalyze the next altcoin bull market cycle. The trader wrote in a July 19th X post, ETH ETFs will be a major catalyst for massive rallies sparking a huge alt season in this cycle. One of the ecosystems that was recently on fire was the Bitcoin ecosystem. Inside this Bitcoin ecosystem, the BRC20 tokens took a liking to the spotlight. They saw a rapid increase in popularity, and BRC20X offers a platform to have all BRC20 tools and services in one place. One of the features of BRC20X is their X cross-chain bridge. A new addition to the BRC20X platform is SATS. They've been live since early June 2024, and you can bridge them. Their bridge is one of their leading features that allows you to bridge, for example, Ordies, SATS, Track, and Bitcoin. But there are also non-Bitcoin-related tokens you can bridge, for example, Sol, ETH, BNB, Matic, Phantom, AVAX, and Blast ETH. BRC20X now also supports Phantom, and you can bridge to and from the Phantom chain from the Bitcoin ecosystem. Another feature of the BRC20X ecosystem is their X Metal card option. Besides the X Virtual Debit card, you can also order an X Metal Debit card, and both options allow you to shop easily with your crypto. Currently, with your X Virtual Debit card, you can pay with Sats, Ordi, Track, Bitcoin, and ETH. You can also earn passive income if you're a BRCX holder. As a holder, you earn part of the BRCX token revenue, and this revenue comes from transaction fees on the network. So check out BRC20X with the link down below. The Polygon network has seen a significant uptick in real-world asset interest, 
ranking second only to Ethereum. Aligning with Polygon's increased RWA value, the ecosystem native token MATIC has also seen a notable uptrend. Reflecting on Polygon's substantial development in the arena of RWAs, Polygon founder Sandeep has shared an ex post. He wrote, So many RWAs launching on Polygon organically is very encouraging. Polygon proof of stake is already second only to Ethereum mainnet in terms of the RWA value created. Italy's top banks participate in 25 million euro digital bond issuance on Polygon and ECB trial. CDP has issued a 25 million euro digital bond, maturing in four months on Polygon. Boasting a market cap of over $5 billion, Maddox secures the 20th position among the top cryptocurrencies. Today marks a pivotal moment for Zbit, which has announced the long-awaited launch of what it says will be the first fully decentralized, risk-on microgaming platform on the Solana blockchain. Zbit built its platform on Solana to take advantage of the unique capabilities of the Solana virtual machine and Sonic's infrastructure platform. Sonic is a scalable layer 2 built on top of Solana to support high volume dApps with rapid transactions processed in under a second and ultimately settled on the Solana main chain. As a decentralized blockchain risk on gaming platform, Zbit offers a wealth of games that come with some major advantages over the more common centralized crypto betting platforms that currently dominate the casino fi segment. One of the problems with centralized crypto betting apps is the lack of transparency into gaming outcomes. And they also inherit some of the same limitations as traditional betting apps and sports books, such as censorship and account limits, sometimes even going as far as to suspend profitable bettors' accounts. They also carry risk as centralized platforms maintain control over bettors' funds and can restrict access to their accounts at any time. Zbit claims its permissionless betting platform is a superior alternative in almost every way, with provably fair and totally random outcomes in all of the games it offers. Each game is powered by a transparent smart contract process and utilizes verifiably random function technologies to ensure every outcome is totally fair. Moreover, the permissionless and non-custodial nature of Zbit eliminates the problems of account restrictions and suspensions as well as the need for deposits and withdrawals. Chris Zhu, CEO of Sonic SVM, said he's encouraged to see Zbit launch on the platform because it's backed by a highly technical team that not only understands but intends to unlock the benefits of Solana's Web3 technologies.